look over at Campus Martius. There you go. You Beautiful can see. out there. It is gorgeous. Sparkling lights. Yes. Clear skies. No haze or fog. No, none whatsoever. I no, don't see any no rain. snow. No rain. No yes. wind. The camera's not shaking. This looks like a good Sunday. I know. Perhaps. What do you think, Dave? Well, we're going to find out uh, Punxsutawney Phil, I think about 7.30. Yeah. You're going to go out and talk to Woody, right? I'm going to actually talk to him. I will be interviewing him. <laughs> it's, it's a girl. Her. You're right. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. So, because girls so rule the world. So talk nicely yes. and uh, take it easy in the morning. This is, um, this is my favorite day of weather because it's, it's six weeks from winter if they see the shadow. Right. But if you look at a calendar, six weeks from now is going to be spring anyway. So whoever made this up sitting in a tavern back in about 18 yes. something was pretty darn smart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me show you what's going on outside right now. We have a wind from the south. That's important. It's not horribly strong right now. It's a little noticeable and actually it creates a little wind chill factor, but it will come back to help us in terms of temperatures later in the day. Maybe a bit too much. So south winds now at 44, uh, 14. Uh, 33 for the high, 89% for the humidity. Uh, there is some snow moving through, but this is going to push away, and then it's going to be windy, warmer that you remember going into the Super Bowl parties a little bit, but coming out especially because the wind and the warmth are going to be here for a while. Right now, 33 in Troy as well, 32 in Lapeer. Right around the freezing mark in Windsor, Ipsy's the warmest at 35. Temperatures to our west are already around 40 in Chicago. We're going to shift the winds from the south to the southwest, starting to do that now. They're around 10 to 15 miles an hour, but gusts this afternoon could go around 40 miles an hour, maybe a little bit higher. And that's going to drive the temperature up very, very quickly. So it's kind of a wild weather day. The snow band is moving out more in the thumb down here toward Port Huron than anywhere else. You can see it's moving off to the east right now. It's a sharp cutoff across northern Macomb County and then back to the west. We've got clouds through Metro, but starting to see some breaks already. I think the best sunshine is going to come probably about 2 o'clock and beyond. Watch on Futurecast now. There goes the snow. Here comes some of that brighter areas. This is 3 o'clock. We should be in good sunshine. I don't know that it lasts for a long time. I mean, the sun's going down at 545-ish this time of year. So you get a few hours at the end of the day. Clouds build back in a little bit overnight. And then it looks like it's an okay night with nothing to worry about for the roads tomorrow morning to get busy again. Uh, I think Monday... After Super Bowl, if I read right, is the number one day that people call in sick. So <laughs> that'll be interesting. But anyway, by the time we get to Monday, some clouds are back in here. Tuesday, Wednesday, I think we start with rain, change back to snow. Late last week, I was worried about some icy. Maybe that's not going to be such a problem, but we could actually get some snow to uh, stick a little bit Tuesday night and Wednesday. For today, though, look at this, 44 for a high. And that might be a bit underdone, maybe even a little bit warmer southwest of Detroit. The snow chance I showed you is moving out real early this morning. Clouds on the decrease. And again, gusts probably up to around 40, especially in the mid-afternoon hours through the evening. Still kind of windy tonight, kind of decreasing from 30 down to 15 overnight. 32 is the low tomorrow to get Monday started, partly cloudy overall. And then 44 again on Monday. A little bit of sunshine here and there as we go throughout the day here. Now the week looks like this. Again, Groundhog's Day, there's no chance early today. Monday, 44. Then Tuesday is a dropping day, so 38 in the morning, 34, or even a little bit cooler on the northwest side of town by the afternoon evening. So that's why the snow starts to stick a little bit, perhaps into Wednesday as well. And you can see we're kind of sort of where we should be with low 30s, generally the rule for the rest of the first full week of